What's up guys, your boy Recon, and today we're going to be doing an in-depth review on the MK-17 Assault Rifle. During the campaign, there is no doubt you'll be trying out most of the guns you are able to acquire through the vast, realistic map of Bolivia, but there is one gun that will stand out from the rest. Of course, that gun is the MK-17. The sheer power of the MK-17 alone makes it stand out from its competition in the assault rifle selection, but then add its beast-like accuracy and ability to penetrate through walls and cars, and you have by far the best weapon in its class. You will find, while firing this weapon in single round mode, you will have no difficulty making shots from 100, 200, 300, that's a kill, and even pushing 400 meters is no difficult Tango for this down. weapon to handle. Retrospectively, while in fully automatic mode, you will see it has no difficulty putting an enemy down from a distance. The recoil, however, is pretty heavy. But with a decent player behind the joystick, you should be able to master the gun's nuances in little to no time. Alright, now let's talk accessories. Aside from having to choose which paint preset to slap on, deciding which scope to go with is the most important choice while loading up the MK17 with goodies. I would suggest the digital scope if you plan on sitting back and taking your enemies from a distance. With the digital scope's guidelines, while ADSing, you should have no problem figuring out the bullet drop versus distance ratios, allowing you to take out ridiculous sniper shots with the Almighty Assault Rifle. Of course, if you plan on heading into town and getting up close and personal, I would suggest using the panoramic sight or the EXPS and G33 scope combo that will allow you to switch between long range and short range firing methods. He's history. Other than that, the rest is up to you and how you would like to build your MK17 to suit your playing style. I personally use the compensated buttstock for more accuracy, the grenade launcher to take out land, sea, and air assault vehicles, the laser dot to max out my accuracy, the long barrel for even more destructive damage and range, and of course the silencer to keep me stealthy. Although there is minimal cons to the MK17, there's a couple things worth mentioning not in its favor. The reloading time of this gun is quite long. If you find yourself in a close quarters firefight and run out of rounds in your clip, it's best to switch quickly to your sidearm to finish the battle, rather than wait for the extended amount of time it takes to slide in a new clip. That's a kill. The only other category that lacks in is the rate of fire. Personally, I don't find this to be an issue, especially since firing the gun in single round mode is pretty much all I do. Sniper. Shit balls. You'll find the MK-17 in an enemy base camp on the eastern side of Florida de Oro, just north of the railway. Overall, the MK-17 is the gun you want to make sure you have in your loadout ready to go. It's a lot of fun to use and it's always up to the task, whether it's playing as Overwatch or running in Guns of Blazin, the MK-17 gets the job done. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the MK-17 and be sure to check out more in-depth Ghost Recon reviews back on my channel. For now, I'm your boy Recon and I'm out. Peace.